So if you want to celebrate the best of fall, Anoka is the best place to be this weekend. Yes, it is. A new fall festival is happening through tomorrow. It's sort of an expansion of the Anoka Haunted House, the Knights of Columbus, put on every year. So joining us this morning from Anoka to tell us all about this haunted house is Ray Danzel with the Knights of Columbus. Ray, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Oh, welcome to be uh, glad to be here. Absolutely. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, hold, hold on, Ray. Are you really glad to be there? Because it sounds like you're in a haunted house right now. Uh, yeah, I'm surrounded by a few creatures of the night, but <laughs> yeah, after a few years, you kind of get used to it. And talk about a few years. You've been handling this for a long time. We know the haunted house has been around for 30 years. Yeah, I've been part of it for probably about 15 now. Uh, we have members that have actually been here since we took it over, so it's been kind of a tradition for us. Yeah, oh, well, there's Michael Myers right in the camera right there. Okay, so, <laughs> Ray, for anyone who's looking to come out this weekend, can you give us a, an idea? It's like, what, what age is appropriate for people who want to come to the haunted house? Um, it's all up to the children. Uh, we've had everyone from 8 to 80 here. It all depends upon if you're a kid. I mean, we had a group out here last night, a mother with five kids. They were like three years old, and they were walking up to Michael Meyer and saying, Hi, Mike. <laughs> so it's, uh, it's entirely up to, to the kids. Uh, we've also had teenagers that didn't make it into the first door but behind me. So. Wow. Oh, wow. It's really a different experience for everyone. So the Knights of Columbus, you actually use this as a fundraiser for the community and for food shelves. Can you talk a little bit about those efforts? Yeah. So, oops, I think I lost the sound here. But yeah, we use it for a fundraiser. We actually donate to the local food shelf. Uh, over the years, it's about 500 pounds of non-perishable foods every, every, uh, every year. Um, and then we also have, <laughs> we also donate to Stepping Stones and other community events. So we've got uh, Stepping Stones Emergency Housing, Haven for Heroes, uh, Hope for Teens, or Hope for Youth. Um, so all the local stuff. Uh, we're all we're, we're helping with all those different organizations. All right, Ray. Thank you so much for time. We're gonna let you get.